The scene that is about to come up is the Get Rich Quick game. And this game has been adopted by my family from the nutty head sister-in-law that married into the family, my lovely Gina Marie. Her family plays this game, I believe, when they have family reunions. And basically the premise of the game is silly questions where C is always the right answer. And when you win, you get a fabulous, awful prize that means nothing but means so much. For example, I believe one of the prizes I got was a old photograph album that actually had some of my old high school pictures in it. So uh, used soap, let's see, what are some of the other prizes? A puzzle that doesn't have all its pieces, things like that. So thank you very much, Gina, for bringing this game into our family. And uh, here it is. So anyway, um, it's not very complicated. You just choose a number, and if you get the answer correct, you win a fabulous prize. All right. Who would like to go first? Okay, Anne's dad helped her buy her first car in Phoenix. When the deal was done, he volunteered to lead Anne back to her apartment. How did Anne respond? A, she took him up on an hour and followed him home. B, she took him to dinner to celebrate. Or C, she would not hear another word. She confidently stepped into the car and drove off in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, where did you get that story from? Because that's not far... They remember you. I was following you and I got lost. Me? Yes. You did? Yes. And I didn't know where I was going because I just oh, moved to wait. Phoenix. You <laughs> just drive yeah. No, I lost you on a turn. That's not far from the truth. So you were just driving around? Oh, man, I was completely lost. They're like, where do you live? I was like, I don't know. Whoa. Hi. Look at those bears colors, huh? Yeah. High school. Well, yours, uh, that's ours, Sarah. All right. Yeah, that's uh, ours. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eric. Tony is a romantic. How did he propose to Anne? A. He took her to a romantic dinner and got down on one knee and proposed in front of everyone. Uh, B. He clearly <laughs> proposed by having a banner over the front door that read, Anne, will you marry me? Love, Tony. <laughs> or C. He proposed with a cryptic message in a fortune cookie that took Anne three weeks to decide. <laughs> More like two months. I didn't know he had proposed to me. <laughs> what did it say? Oh, it said, uh, it, your relationship will soon become permanent. And I didn't know. <laughs> but I figured out like a month and a half later that he had proposed to me. <laughs> No, he no, was my buddy. Away. Yeah, we were on the boat. My buddy was like, "So, uh, what's going on yeah, with that?" I said, "Well, you're gonna, I'm gonna need some help." And then he mentioned something about the the fortune cookie. And she was like, "What?" Like, you know, he planned that. I was like, and like everything flooded back to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so no, it was gonna be like another week, and I was gonna try to get gather all my friends out at this place that we go and have dinner. That's in, a really big in Fort Worth. Well, have us all down below. And then, you know, she'd look over the, the balcony 